So I came here uh, two years and four months ago, so without any English ability, English skill. Actually, so when I had an interview with 343, so I had a Japanese translator. <laughs> I couldn't say anything. I used to be a, a music composer, some uh, action role playing type game. It's for a PlayStation 1. After two years working in the TND software, so I moved to uh, Konami. I worked for uh, uh, the Castlevania or some music game stuff in uh, Konami Kobe. And so after two years, so I moved to uh, Kojima Production. So when I went to the office of the Kojima Production, the, he said, uh, Hey Sotaro, so uh, you should, um, can you work for a post production, audio post production? I said no. <laughs> I wanted to uh, compose the music. And so, so please, so give me a chance to compose the music. But so unfortunately, uh, there are a bunch of great music composers there. And so they strongly um, asked me to work for a post production. Once uh, we finished the Metal Gear Solid 2 project, so to me, wow, the post production is so much fun. Everybody down! So it's just the same as the music. The A melody and B melody and bridge and please cry at this point or something like that. I worked as a sound designer and a mixing engineer for Metal Gear Solid 2 and 3 and uh, Anubis second runner, it's called Zoe in the US. Um, and uh, Metal Gear Solid 1 Twin Snakes, it's for GameCube. And so after finishing uh, Metal Gear Solid 3, so I turned to an uh, audio director. So I have a uh, responsibility all of the audio production, uh, such as music and sound effects and VO. And so I worked for Metal Gear Solid 4 as an audio director. So when I was a high school student, I was a, just a not so cool rock and roller. And so, but so when I sing a song uh, the in front of the small audience, so first time, so I could make people cry. And still now, I'm, I'm already 40, but still now, so I want to make somebody cry. And it's never changed. It's amazing. <laughs>